Hey guys, what is going on? It's Don here from Pandemic Playgrounds and welcome back to Mars Research and De Development Race Department. I almost forgot the name. Anyway, today I actually worked on a special script for you guys. Uh, it's basically called the Vehicle Lights Mod. Sure, that's what I'm going to call it. The Vehicle Lights Mod. Um, so let's get started. So what we have here is a vehicle that you could actually purchase from the shop and what I ended up doing was writing a script to make sure we have blinkers, tail lights, also blinkers in the front and uh, spotlights. But there are a couple of other codes that you could find online and what makes this code different compared to those is while those probably operate the lights a little bit better which in my case, I actually will be working on in the future. Uh, but what I can do in mine is actually use the Q, E, and the C key. So those are the rotation keys if you're on an actual ship. But on a vehicle, they're really not used. So I programmed it so you could actually use those as toggles or triggers. And let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So right now, I have my vehicle. If I was to accelerate and then brake, there you go. I have my brake lights. Now, I will be modifying this. This is like a code that I just whipped up in a couple of hours and I know that I could actually make it so it's dimmed halfway when I'm driving but for now I there's gonna be a lot of implementations in the future but what I'm talking about right now is that I'm able to break if I do left turn I have my left blinker if I do right turn I have my right blinker and right now I don't have reverse lights so it just acts as brakes I will work on that in the future but what I could do is if I was to hit the E key It'll actually turn on all my spotlights. Uh, if I was to hit the Q key, it would turn it off. Now, it's all programmed only for light blocks itself. So it doesn't have to be spotlights. Spotlights is just something I decide to put together. But you could always use it for neon lights or any other lights that you have. And I also triggered the C key. So you see the C key will actually toggle. No, not toggle. Sorry. Trigger the another light that I have, which is this rotating light. And once I let go... Or, there it is it comes back to normal uh, if i hit spacebar it will also have the brake lights just so if i'm driving boom brake lights and that's basically about it on this script so let me show you guys how it works um, let me show you the front blinkers too the front blinkers are pretty cool you see that and i like how these offset light blocks have that like cool design into it so it looks really cool anyway let's get into the script so if I was to pop over to the script, and you could download this from our Pandemic Playgrounds uh, workshop. I'm going to have this uploaded. And if you guys have any suggestions on what to add, let me know in the comments down below. But ultimately, um, here it is. This is the code that you would need to work, like the only thing that you would need to change. Everything else, uh, you don't have to worry about. Basically, do not touch anything down there. Just don't worry about those. But over here, you could actually name the Q and E. Now for now, it's actually E to turn on and Q to turn off. Um, it's technically a toggle, but it's not a toggle and it does use the two keys. I will eventually code it so it actually will one key per toggle. As of right now, um, it's a little bit hard to program that since I don't have a sleep timer. It's, it's a little annoying, but uh, to get this code out, I was able to get the Q and E to turn on and off this particular group. So if you have a block or a block group, you could just place it here. In my case, I did this spotlight. Uh, next, we have C. C is actually a trigger. So if you hold it, it'll actually run it. And if you let go, it'll stop running it. So in my case, I put rotating light. Now, W is not used yet. Uh, it's a work in progress. It is something I am going to plant in. Uh, the whole reason is because I needed to recognize the W key as, also, as well as the S key so I can make the reverse lights. I did not code that in yet. That will be coming in the future as well. I should actually make a feature list, like what's coming. Um, S is your brake lights. So whatever the group is or the block name that you want to put in, the brake. And A and D for left and right uh, will be blinker left and blinker right. I just put B, L, or B, R. And yes, they are in a group. So if I was to go over to right over here, you see how they're grouped up like that? I have my brake light. Spotlights are the two spotlights here. And that's about it. Now, if I was to, instead of using spotlight, again, it will automatically detect so you don't have to worry about it. I could just change the name to say spotlight nine, okay? And I think it's capital. Case sensitive on this thing. Spot light. Am I right on that? 
Let's see. Is there a space spotlight? No, it is lowercase. Okay, go back to programming block and I'll change that. Spotlight 9. And if I was to just operate that one block instead of group, there you go. I have that one light that turns on and off. And again, you could use anything that is a light block. So let me see if I was to put... I actually have not tested this, but let's give this a try. Neon lights. Can we put neon lights on small? No, it only could go on big. And I don't have a big vehicle to test this on. I'm just going to assume it works. But if it doesn't, yeah, let me know. Um, I could actually... So, I could actually interface this with not just lights. The way I coded it right now, it only works with lights. Um... But moving forward in the future, if you want those keys to operate something else other than lights, I could actually just add it into the list. So again, this code I put together uh, is very generic. Basically, it just gives me the ability to have my uh, brake lights as well as blinker lights and stuff like that. But I will want to add features, especially the reverse lights. That's something I definitely want to add. And the dimmable lights, meaning like you see how the brakes light is off right now. I want to be able to like as I'm driving, it's actually 50% brightness instead of uh, just on or off. So I want to do something like that and um, probably some other stuff. I mean, the only thing I could think of to put on here is sound blocks, meaning if I was to press the C key, it'll actually trigger a horn or something like that or flashing like high beams or something like that um so if you guys have any other thoughts on what i could do to progress this script a little bit more any ideas that you would want to see that you haven't seen on any other script and um, let me know down in the comments below and i could work on that again this is a vehicle mod script or vehicle light script and for now it's just basically for lights but we could always make it so it works on anything else um so let's let's actually give this a run right now and drive it out see as i'm driving it actually looks really cool whoa this vehicle looks really cool too so it's blinking drive let me slow down a little bit there you go let's trigger out the warning sign okay every time i just make a little turn it knows to trigger that it's really cool how i was able to figure out how to do that turn on my one headlight because i didn't do a spotlight whoa there you go look at that just cruising with my little car over here Just cruising all around. Oh. They should probably make the turning angle. I almost feel like I'm going to flip. This vehicle does drive pretty well. Maybe hazard lights. That's another idea that we could throw into this. Anyway, that is it for me, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that little like button. If you guys have any questions about this one, hit it down in the comments below. And thanks for watching. See you guys later.